frames very easily. His forward air very good at covering multiple options. His neutral air good at covering multiple options. But Roy is not a stranger who advantage himself either. Down to my, uh, a lot of those smash attacks are also like very lagless actually. Yeah, yeah. FAF wise, right? Yeah, um, I know I I cannot punish down smash online. Like that's not <laughs> happening. Okay. Uh, I really uh, I love what they did with Roy in this game. Like uh, when when they first showed him and you saw a lot of the changes that they made that just improved his game plan overall. Uh, a, a bunch of people thought he was going to be broken. Um, there were a lot of uh, Roy's and a lot of Croms at the very like first week or two of the game. Um, he's sort of fallen off. He, he's not bad by any means. Wonderful back air button right there. But uh, his, I feel like his neutral claws are starting to show more. I think that might be the same for just sword characters in general as people are starting to figure out the parry mechanic. Yeah. Um, and, and really understanding how to play around the, uh, the sword character's strengths. Keeping him up in the air. I like it. Again, like we were saying, like I was saying before, uh, the two most advantageous positions you can be put yourself in. It seems like uh, both players are kind of just hitting each other once or twice, and they're both taking even amounts of percents. But it looks like Cact here is uh, able to show that he has a prowess and advantage right now. It's a frame 17 back air, but it's also like very, very strong. Very strong, yes. Um, I don't know how bad Wolf disadvantage is. Um, I can't really think of Ooh, nice excellent counter. counter. Excellent counter. Hard read on the F smash coverage. Uh, it, it's that laglessness again of just like being able to uh, throw out a kill move and being able to do it safely. Right. I like how he's using the uh, the side B's uh, to really rack up his energy and garner himself some stage control. Put him in a, uh, a tech situation a couple of times. Trying to use that Nair in order to get Roy off of him, but uh, uh, Kag managed to, manages to drift back. Yeah, really kind of spacing himself properly there. Had Kak shown any other option than what he chose there, the up smash would have killed him there, hands down. Covers many options. Oh, That was a very nice there. parry. Very, very good. And the Nair F smash confirmed. Not enough. Almost. Not enough. But he uh, doesn't have a jump. It's over. I He tried to double jump out of the, the Nair the F smash. smash. Yeah. And it, it took his double jump. Not enough. Unfortunate. Cag will secure that with a nice two stock, close, close matches. But Cyrus, uh, Cag's showing that he has the uh, prowess and advantage. So. Can you see when he plays? When he plays? Yeah. We're going to have a late bracket. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely having a late bracket. Uh, going back to PS2, uh, seems to be a favorite stage out of uh, most everyone I know, honestly. It's a very fun stage. Uh, I, yeah. Um, I know Wolves like this stage a lot because uh, it gives them a lot of room in order to, to blaster, in order to create the space that Wolves love. Um, I think... Yeah, I don't really calling out these jumps right now. It doesn't seem like uh, Kamui is able to jump safely at all. Every time he's jumped, he's really gotten stuffed out and uh, seems to always want to catch Kak's landings with a hitbox. I'd really like to see uh, Kamui just like call out Kak for these counters. Yeah. Just for like, uh, maybe if he, he does an F smash, just hold the F smash and wait for the counter to happen. Yeah, um, just as a hard call out to the, to the counter. He's doing a lot of really preemptive stuff. Like, yeah. uh, Generally speaking, uh, a lot of people should. Yep, like I said before, the up smash covering multiple options. Uh, generally speaking, people should uh, be looking to grab other landings. Uh, oh, not Physical able to grab the ledge there, yeah. Really at an even game right now. Yeah, definitely, definitely showing that. Uh, Kami might be getting a little bit of a download and able to 
avoid some of uh, Cax neutral uh, exchanges. Uh, but maybe Cax will bring it back himself with uh, what he's shown to be his advantage state. But probably really spacing around the sword and, and really showing that he's adapting. Here. He, he, he's really trying to use that Nair in order to, to get hacked off of him. And uh, I think it's almost 50-50 on them. Yeah, um, a good tool, but perhaps not best to be predictable with it. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh. this is the F-Smash. Why does that up smash didn't kill? Does it have a sweet spot or? No, it, uh, I don't think so. I think uh, I think it's just it's a relatively weak up smash as, as far as I know. Um, but it's still it's also I think it's one of Wolves faster smash attacks, and it's also pretty close to liveless. There's a lot of shield stun on that side. Beat, my goodness. Making it almost completely safe off of the sweet spot and able to get a kill afterwards. But Cat bringing it right back with a nicely spaced back air. We still got an even game. Still an even game. Kenji's in trying to jump back in with that Nair. Uh, gets Dancing Blade back in neutral. Tries to read that tech with the, another. It's not. Sorry, it's not Dancing Blade. It's Double Edge Dance. It's yeah, Double Edge Dance. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's. An extremely good uh, option for reading tech rules. Um, yep, not swinging again on landing. That's very, very good uh, adaptation. Hedging the two vulnerable frames after the normal getup, killing him at around, what was it, like 85? Not yep. surprising, not, not surprising. But a really good comeback from Kamui, really showing that he can dance around uh, Roy's range and, and really try to snake around what, what Cact was really going for there. There was a question I wanted to ask. I forgot what it was. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate when that happens. I see they're going to change stages here. Er, oh, the trolls? They're making a me. Oh, no. OK. All right. His controls were probably off. Yeah. Conley's, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, stick jump on. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm surprised he didn't catch up the first game. That's yeah, super awkward. Perhaps he wasn't going for maybe uh, many up tilts or, or anything like that, because I know a lot of people that, uh, that do not have um, tab jump on don't even go for the, like, top hemisphere of their control stick. So a lot of times, like when they're doing up tilts or even up airs and things like that, they'll almost exclusively use the C stick. So maybe he didn't notice it the first game. Um, maybe when he lost his jump and got killed for it, that's probably when he noticed it. Yep, Cag's really using his uh, side beat to his strength there. Get a quick 30 off of this. Yeah, for sure. Very, very strong move. I believe it's stronger than Living Cross Slab. Uh, a lot of people do fall out of it. Uh, so, it's. I think it's only if the fourth hit connects, basically. Right, yeah. Um, oh, called out the air dodge. Do you remember that the fourth hit, if shielded, is basically a free smash attack? Uh, it's very slow. Oh yeah, the FAF is really, really high. It's really bad, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm thinking that might have been a, a kill there if he got the sweet spot. Yeah. I think uh, he might have been able to escape just because uh, he caught the, the Nair F till while Wolf was already jumping. Yeah, so he may true. have fallen out. Yeah, true. Oh, that F till will not miss though. Strange Taking blaster. Really tried to blaster him like right next to his shield. It does have a very close up hitbox that has pretty decent uh, shield stun though. So it's not a horrible option if it does happen, but definitely something that uh, if, if they're paying attention, they, they should be able to get it. I think he's trying to use blaster more now. Um, I think he, he thinks that's the key to this matchup, but I'm not sure if I agree. Um, 
I really think you should box with him. Uh, just like weave back and forth, use Wolf's really high airspeed in order to create situations. Yeah, I, I think a lot of matchups in Ultimate in general are just strictly based on uh, how well you can whiff punish. It's really bad DI on that up tilt. Really bad DI. I think that was the worst DI possible there. Probably catching him off guard as to actually getting hit. It's a, a very fast kill confirm. And yeah. he, he also probably thought that uh, it was going to be near into F tilt. Yeah, possibly. Catches the jump out, doesn't have a double jump. Recovers on the stage. He's facing really carefully, uh, trying not to get with punish, trying to avoid a situation in which he could be. Uh, good punished. high recovery. Nice down smash. Yep. Like I was saying before, down smash, an insane move. It's so strong. So I, strong. It's the, the Pichu F tilt of Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> Well, not in the, the same function, but the... Uh, strength. Strength. Yeah. Very, very strong. Oh, that F... That up smash oh. scooping him from behind. And killing him in glorious fashion. Cac taking it 2-1 over Conway.